You're watching the watching the watching the Dina show. You're watching the Dina show. As a child, Barbara Ryan sketched endlessly. She attended the Vesper George School of Art in Boston for two years. She has studied art, history, and composition, and taken various studio classes in painting, life drawing, and perspective, to name a few. She married, had a family, and proceeded to join the Philadelphia Art Museum. Mrs. Ryan became active in taking classes, painting a location for the first time, and learning how to use the palette knife while working in oil on canvas. After moving to Rhode Island in the 70s, Barbara decided to work with watercolors and became fascinated with this medium thereafter. We have Ace on the line. He's our uh, golf correspondent. How you doing, Ace? Good. How are you? How are you, uh, Diana? <laughs> I'm doing good. Well, tell me, why do you think golf has become so popular? Viewers out there, uh, golf is, is one of the best sports right now. Uh, it's the only sport where you can play with an actual professional because of the way they uh, they have a something called a handicap system. So it's not like you can get out there on the NFL and, and play with you, like your favorite quarterback or the NBA and play with them because you're just going to get killed. Anybody can, can start playing golf at any age. Uh, it's a great sport for kids to share with their parents or their grandparents. Yeah. I mean, you, you can't slam dunk a ball with your grandpa, but you definitely can <laughs> uh, play a ball with, with them. Right. And then, um, well, I guess it depends on the grandpa, huh? <laughs> yeah, since the game is growing, uh, not just in the United States, all over the world, the, the persons are growing, and it, there's a lot of corporate sponsorship. Mm -hmm. So um, kids are, are tr looking at golf as a way to uh, get a scholarship nowadays. Mm -hmm. and, and unlike uh, your typical team sports, you can just uh, walk up to a, a qualifying tournament, pay your entry fee, and if you can play, 
uh, you can turn professional. You can qualify for the tournament that week, and, and you can play your your way to uh, being a pro. You don't have to go through any drafting or teams or anything like that. It's, it's definitely different, and it's, and it's a good thing for everybody. What do you think? You're going to ask me about Tiger Woods, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, right. Why is he so popular? And Why is he so special? Why do people flock to him? He took the game by storm. He became the first... Uh, uh, African-American to win the Masters, so he broke a lot of uh, barriers. So the whole phenomenon of this young kid um, about to win um, tournaments. I mean, he, Tiger Woods was just this young phenom back in the 90s, and uh, he's just uh, the number one player in the world. He's, he really loves that are act actively playing on tour, and he's getting close to uh, beating Jack Ni uh, Nicholas' um, record of uh, 18 majors. So, um, mm. you know, it's if you're not a big golf fan, you will know these things, but let's just look at it this way. Tiger Woods' effect has been on the game. The purses have gotten bigger and bigger and bigger. Uh, basically, uh, players are now playing for a million dollars, where it's like in 1992, they were playing for much less. I believe it's like three-quarters of a million dollars at, at, at best. And now, uh, last year, they had the FedEx Cup, or uh, players can win up to $10 million for finishing the season. What Explain, what is this uh, FedEx... Uh, championship. Yeah, well, let me explain to your viewers what the FedEx Cup is. The FedEx Cup is a new type of uh, format uh, to motivate players to play in some bigger names like Tiger Woods to play a little bit more often. It rewards those players that finish in the top 10, top 20 in mm -hmm. tournaments versus those players that play a few tournaments and maybe they have a win and but don't finish top 10, top 20. So if you play top 10, you get, you know, consistently, you can probably get a really good start towards the uh, end of the season in the FedEx Cup Championship. Mm -hmm. uh, you can only get into the championship if you have so many uh, points. It's pretty much just a motivational factor and another promotional factor that uh, the PGA Tour has come up with uh, uh, along with FedEx. And eventually, at the end of the championship tournament, the winner uh, takes $10 million. It's kind of like an NASCAR format type of thing, points right? In Dubai, mm -hmm. they've decided to compete with the FedEx Cup. So now players are going to be playing in the U European Tour for $20 million for one um, finishing tournament. Break up the Masters for us. Well, the Masters was the most prestigious tournament in golf. It was really interesting uh, leaderboard, lots of new players. Uh, finally, some new blood came out, and uh, we have a, a new champion. The, the winner was uh, Trevor Immelman, and he's uh -huh. from South Africa. And uh, his story is his parents noticed that he had a special talent. So they sacrificed a lot and actually sent them over to the United States uh, and to live with a, with a family while he, uh, he, he trained and, and went to golf school, etc. So uh -huh. after years of hard work, he won the Masters. Tiger Woods finished in second place. He also finished second place last year. Is that correct? Yeah, that that is right. But you gotta keep in mind, he won, he won the past the past seven tournaments that he entered. If you really look at golf, uh, a golfer rarely wins seven tournaments in a row. Actually, it's almost like barely never. <laughs> Uh, the last time that was actually done, it was done by Byron Nelson. Tiger Woods, right now he's beaten almost all of the world records except two. Let's talk a little bit about the EDS Byron Nelson Championship. It's a good tournament, and it's one of the higher purses on the PGA Tour. Most tournaments pay about a million dollars. I'd say 60% of them maybe pay a million dollars, but the Byron Nelson State is actually pretty a pretty big tournament. Mm -hmm. uh, and, Byron, and Byron Nelson, the, the one gentleman that, that had over 10 tournament victories in a row, and uh, that's a record that Tiger Woods has tried to come to several times but, but failed. Byron Nelson is in Dallas, and it's definitely a, a, a tour stop for most elite players. Phil Mickelson is number two in the world, and VJ Singh, I believe, is still in the top ten. You have elite players playing that tournament. You just don't always get like Ernie Els or Tiger Woods because they're either playing overseas or they have other other arrangements. What do you have for us coming up on our next show? On the next segment, we will cover how I'm embarking on a professional career, but I'm starting as an amateur, and I'll explain the differences between an amateur and uh, and a professional and. I will show you how to get started without spending much money. Thanks a lot for being here with us, Ace. Anytime, Taina. Take care. All right. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Up next, we have our yoga segment, so stay tuned.